There is another seer whose chilling predictions continue to echo down the centuries. He is Saint Malachi, canonized in 1190. Malachi was a reforming Catholic prelate born in Armagh in 1094. On a visit to Rome, he was struck by a vision. Before him appeared a series of Latin phrases identifying the 111 popes who would rule the Catholic Church until the end of time. He uttered 111 Latin mottos, which are supposed to represent the nature, the name, or destiny, or the coat of arms of every pope until Judgment Day. Many of the phrases are considered too precise to be the results of chance. John the 23rd, the 107th Pope in the prophecy, is referred to as Pastor et Nortam, priest and sailor. Before becoming Pope in 1958, he was the Patriarch of Venice. Paul VI is Flos Floram, flower among flowers. His coat of arms is a lily among lilies. John Paul II, who is called De Labora Solis in the prophecies, which means the sun's eclipse, the sun's labor. He is the only pontiff on the list that was born on an eclipse and later entombed during an eclipse. And the 111th, the final pope in the prophecy? De Gloria Olive, from the glory of the olive. That's the current Benedict XVI. At the end of the list, Malachi is said to have uttered a final doom-laden phrase, this one unnumbered. During the final persecution, the seat of the Holy Roman Church will be occupied by Peter the Roman, who will feed the sheep in many tribulations, after which the seven-hilled city will be destroyed and the terrible judge will judge his people. The end. Is Malachi describing the end of the Catholic Church or the end of the world? Is Peter the Roman the last pope who will follow the current pontiff, Benedict XVI? Some experts consider that since the motto is unnumbered, they are actually one and the same. Bill. Now the next thing I want to talk to you about is not really a biblical prophecy, but I still think I have to talk to you about it. Because there was a mystic by the name of St. Malachi who lived back in the 11th century. St. Malachi claims that he had a spiritual experience one day. And while in a trance, God showed him all of the popes that would exist from his time until the last pope. Malachi was given a prophecy of 112 popes. And in these 112 popes, there were given signs, little clues as to the identity of each one, all 112. Well, the writings of Malachi were stored away in a vault by one of the popes for about 300 years. They didn't have printing presses in those days. So the possibility of circulating the writings of St. Malachi were very small. But when Gutenberg invented the printing press, all of a sudden someone printed the prophecies of St. Malachi. And as the prophecies of St. Malachi began to be known, people became very interested, and they started counting the popes. Well, several hundred years had passed by that time. However, 112 total popes from St. Malachi to the last pope. Well, what's in fact happening right now? Pope John Paul II, who just died in 2005, was the 110th Pope. No wonder interest in the prophecies of St. Malachi are reviving right now. When the Cardinals came to Rome to elect the 111th Pope, an article appeared out of India the day before the election. A man said to the Cardinals, you must elect a giant spiritual leader. You must elect a pope that can appeal to young people. You must elect someone that can hold the church together. But he said, there's one more thing you must pay attention to when you elect the new pope tomorrow in the Sistine Chapel. Make sure you don't elect a pope that has anything to do with the olive because the clue for the 111th pope was the glory of the olive, whatever that means. Well, 
The conclave was held. The white smoke came out of the Sistine Chapel chimney. And the word went out, we have a pope. When the identity of the pope was disclosed, it was Cardinal Ratzinger of Germany. And everybody thought, glory of the olive. It has nothing to do with it. I mean, you've never heard of a Ratzinger olive, I'm sure. And so everybody thought, surely not. This, this doesn't have anything to do with anything, even though he's the 111th pope. Everybody was interested, though, in finding out what his name would be that he would rule under. You know, when popes are elected, they don't rule under their own name. They take a name like Pope John XXIII or Pope Pius XII, uh, the last one, John, Pope John Paul II. So everybody wondered, how will Cardinal Ratzinger rule the church? What name? Because when a man picks a name, it usually is indicative of something that means something special to him. Well, the announcement was made the next day that the Pope would rule under the name of Benedict XVI. And everybody wondered, what's that got to do with anything? St. Benedict was the patron saint of Europe. He was a very powerful man and he gave birth to a powerful order called the Benedictine Order. Well, the Benedictine Order has been powerful in the Roman Catholic Church for a long time. And it has a symbol you may be interested to know. And by now you've guessed it. The symbol of the Benedictine order is the olive. So he chose the glory of the olive. He, now that he's the Pope rep representing the Benedictine order. So the question has to be asked. Are we right now watching the 111th Pope. Now the prophecy says that in the days of the 112th Pope, Rome will be destroyed. Well, the prophecies of the Bible, I don't know what to say about the prophecies of St. Malachi. I don't know whether I believe them, them or don't. I'm simply telling you that if this is coincidence, it's very coincidental. But I do know this. The Bible says that right at the time of the Battle of Armageddon, the city of Rome is going to be destroyed. And that's what it says happens at the 112th Pope. Now, it's really interesting that this pope just elected was elected at the age of 75. The cardinals chose an older pope on purpose because Pope John Paul II had ruled the church for so long that he had totally changed the texture of the church. They felt like they did not want a pope that would rule for a long time. So they picked a man 75 years of age. Today, he's 76 years of age. So how long will he rule? If, in fact, he is the next to the last pope, and all the other signposts that we're talking about today are coming to pass right now, then perhaps Malachi, St. Malachi was on to something. Perhaps the next pope will be the last pope. Now, remember, in the St. Malachi prophecy, it says the last pope will be Peter the Roman. Now, whatever that means, apparently he's going to be a person from Italy. We've had two popes in a row not from Italy. The first two popes not from Italy in 455 years. All of a sudden it looks like if St. Malachi's prophecy is correct, and I can't tell you whether it is or not. It's not biblical. It's just something that happened. But if in fact it is correct, after this pope dies, the next pope elected will preside over the destruction of the city of Rome. Several times in the book of Revelation, Rome is referred to as Mystery Babylon. Revelation 17, Mystery Babylon is called the city of seven hills. Rome is the city of seven hills. And the destruction of the city of Rome is mentioned several times in the book of Revelation. And that's what St. Malachi said. So here we are. you got St. Malachi's word, which you have to take with a grain of salt. But you got the Bible that you can take to the bank. And it's telling us you and me, that we're getting closer and closer to the second coming. I think the sign says, eight miles to Indianapolis. Signpost 2.0.